and welcome to our final Chamber Music in Valencia concert 2021 with UCO, European Union Chamber Orchestra. Our plan was to have UCO in resident on Valencia, but of course, due to the ongoing pandemic, that this isn't possible this year. We hope to have them on the island in a future season. So this concert is entitled In the Shadow of St. Mark's, and it's all music that references Venice. We begin with a piece, an unusual piece by Antonio Vivaldi, his Santo Sepulchre. Unusual in that it's first of all in two movements. The first movement, brooding, slow atmosphere opening, and then has this fugato, slow second movement. We know Vivaldi wrote this sometime between Monday, Thursday and Holy Saturday during Holy Week for a service at Santa Maria de Pietà, where he worked in the orphanage. This will be followed by a Vivaldi violin concerto that I'll perform. And it's really a wonderful example of Vivaldi's virtuosic writing, the red priest that he is known for. This is followed by incredibly interesting Rococo period work by another composer violinist who grew up in Venice, Maria Lombardini. And this is really interesting music. She was a student of Tartini and an exceptional violinist and composer. This leads into a really beautiful Mozart divertimento, his F major Salzburg Sinfonia. And we finish with a concerto grosso by Francesco Gemignani, that wonderful Italian composer who came to live in Dublin and worked there as an art dealer and also as a violin teacher. Thank you so much to the Arts Council of Ireland, to Kerry County Council, and also especially to all our supporters and FESCO. This has been an unusual time for all of us and we really hope we can be back giving concerts as live musicians on Valencia Island in 2022. Enjoy in the shadow of St Mark's.
Buonasera, sono Alessandro Sanguinetti e suono il violoncello con questa orchestra. Sono qua per presentarvi il concerto di Antonio Vivaldi per violino che suoneremo a breve. Hi, I'm Alessandro Sanguinetti, I play the cello with the European Union Chamber Orchestra. Uh, now we are going to play for you Antonio Vivaldi Opus 4, number 4, violin concerto. Uh, he composed this concerto around 1712-1713 and he dedicated it to an ex-pupil of his, um, Vettor Delfino. Uh, he was at this time already working at Ospedale della Pietà and he named this concerto La Stravaganza. Um, this means the eccentricity. Enjoy it. Thank you.
Hello, I'm Adam Winter. I'm playing the double bass in this European Union Chamber Orchestra concert. So one of the pieces we're going to play for you is a uh, divertimento by Mozart in F, K138. That's out of a catalogue of over 600, so that's quite an early work in the grand scheme of his output. And apparently it was written after a trip to Italy. And some of the stylistic elements come out in this, uh, in this piece he's written, which is quite buoyant, melody driven, a little bit more introspective, contemplative, but never melancholy in the middle. So we hope you enjoy.
Hi, my name is Kieran. Uh, I'm a violinist uh, from the European Union Chamber Orchestra, and I'll be playing with Dara uh, this next piece, which is a wonderful violin duet uh, by the Italian composer Maddalena Laura Lombardini Sirmen, uh, who was uh, a wonderful violinist and composer uh, born in Venice to uh, poverty stricken parents, actually of nobility, but um, she uh, went into one of the, the orphanages or the convents in Venice when she was just seven years old and had aspirations to be uh, a, a European violinist um, and actually was discovered by Tartini and went on to be one of his um, favorite students uh, to the extent that he actually paid for her tuition. Um, and she graduated from the, the, the convent in Venice uh, at age of 21 and she went off with these hopes of becoming a, a violinist in, in what would have been uh, a largely male dominated uh, scene in, in Europe at the time of course and so it's wonderful that she did indeed achieve her intentions and uh, was renowned both as a violinist and a composer and she married also uh, a violinist a, a very important violinist Sirmen and they they toured Europe together and had a, and had a, a wonderful career um, this piece shows some of her style, her, the, the virtuosic style that she wrote, um, and you, know, you can get an idea of who she was as a violinist, um, incredibly ornate and exciting writing for the two instruments, and they're both evenly matched also. Uh, the piece is in two movements, and yeah, it ex displays a real mixture of characters, both brilliant and lyrical as well, and, and indeed she was a singer also as well as, as a, a renowned composer and violinist. Uh, so yes, it's a really exciting piece, full of life and full of energy, and something of probably her youthful spirit, and just wonderful to see and hear of uh, a, a female composer um, who, who achieved such critical acclaim at the time, uh, and, and also an important violinist of her time. So I hope you enjoy. This is duet number six by Lombardini.
Dobrý večer, jmenuji se Petra Hajduchová a hrají čembalo pro orchestr Evropské unie. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm a harpsichordist of European Union Chamber Orchestra and uh, we will play, I'm introducing a piece by Geminiani, which is now kind of forgotten composer, but back in his time he was as known as Corelli or Handel, and actually he played together with Handel one of his violin pieces. Um, we will play for you Concerto Opus 3 number 4. We will start nice and easy with Andante, then a little bit quicker Allegro Assai and Allegro at the end. Hope you will enjoy.
Thank you.